Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming and I am super excited to bring you an unboxing of Age of Sigmar Soul Wars. So there's been a new release of Age of Sigmar, 2nd edition, which I'm very excited about. I have not played Age of Sigmar at all, but I do have some old Warhammer Fantasy armies that I would love to play again with, and so it's just a great excuse now that the game's a little more tight, it's a lot more fleshed out, the storyline is actually very exciting, um, it's, it's a neat time to jump in and play, and what a great excuse. There's this great new box set, all sorts of new minis, and, uh, and I'm excited. So first off, check this thing out. It's like, it's massive. It's huge. There's so much, there's so much box here, <laughs> which means there's so many models here too, which is which I'm very excited about. So let's crack this baby open and and see what's in here. All right. So here's the box. Now, if you guys remember our camping trip that we just did, we filmed a whole bunch of battle reports. Uh, I lost my tripod in it, so I'm gonna do all of this one-handed. So ready? Watch. I'm gonna open this box. Aha, there it is. <laughs> so there you go, nice sleeve case. Uh, beautiful artwork on all sides. The, uh, this, this sweet Sigmarite dude here. I mean, you just, you almost don't want to throw the box out because it's so wonderful. So, so, so wonderful. So you got this great battle scene, the new Night Haunt um, faction fighting against the, the new Age of Sigmar models here. So there we go, some great artwork. Um, if you want to know everything that's in the kit, obviously you'll see it, but you got everything in here. Two sides, uh, so you can easily pick this up uh, with, with a friend, split it, each take, one guy takes the undead, one guy takes the stormcast, and then you got everything to play. Dice, rulers, uh, the whole nine, and a, and a full hardcover rulebook. So what I did is, uh, what, I, what I wanted to do is even double down on one of these, so I would just buy two, and then I'd take a rule book, a friend would take a rule book, and then we'd double on the models that we had. So I'd have twice as many Stormcasts and he would have twice as many Night Haunt. And then you have almost a 2,000 point army right there, um, which would be pretty sweet. Because from what I understand too, some of the models in here, um, the units aren't big enough to field in a full, in a legitimate match play game. So if you double down get two, then the units that are too small are all of a sudden they're big enough and you're, you're golden. So there you go. So. Um, so that's kind of everything in the box. Let's see how they package it up. So it looks like there is a top shelf here with models and then a bottom shelf with the rest of the stuff. So let's start in the top shelf and open this up. So if we just, how does it go? Mm -hmm. Aha! Aha! Whoop. Oh, beauty! So there it is. Tons and tons of plastic sprue. Oh, I'm, I'm stoked. So here we go. A little bubble wrap, neat, and then your 8,000 bases for all your minis. And ooh, there it is, ghosties galore on top, it looks like. I mean, wow. Just wow. Like, for starter set models, I don't know if you got. I've been in this hobby for a while, guys, I don't know if you know. And like, we've never had starter set models this dynamic before. Like, this is just so impressive. These flowing capes, all these little details on the base. Um, like, the, it's just so crisp. Alright, let's keep diving in. More ghosts. These looks like two units of chain rasps right here. It looks like the same sprue you just double up. And then you got your 20 chain rasps. There's, you can see, like, perfect pictures of this stuff um, on the website and all that. But, I mean, you can just see nice and close now the Christmas... Like, I love that dude. Dude's like... Like, don't do whatever that guy did. You're gonna end up in the stirrups. Whatever you call that thing. In the yoke. Um, there's more and more and more ghosties. You got your Glaive Wraith Stalkers. Uh, whatever those dudes are. Grim Gas Reapers, massive dudes with size, so cool. Spirit hosts coming out of one of them, probably. Like, like, look at that. And then of course the new Stormcast, which this is the half that I'm gonna be playing. Um, I split this with a buddy, and he's gonna take the Ghosties. But I just love the more like Templar feel, the more like Crusading Knight feel to these guys. It's like Holy Order type thing. 
Um, these huge ballistae. Oh wait, those are like, uh, those are like crossbows. Where's like the actual ballistae? That was so awesome. There it is. Oh, I can't wait to put that together and paint it up. So cool. So, 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 so cool. Perfect. Impressive. Alright, so there you go. A couple more screws. We got the, uh, um, the Griff Charger. Lord Arcanum on Griff Charger here. Like, So impressive. So impressive. I can't wait to paint these up and show you guys. I'm like in the in the in the mad rush of finishing a whole bunch of terrain. We got the Hog Towner event coming up this weekend, and if I can uh, if I can get the terrain all done for it, then I'll be uh, hitting these guys up pretty quick. So, and it just looks like a few more evocators or castigators or whatever. Um, on there. Awesome. So there's the models. Can't wait to paint them up and show you guys. Stay tuned for pictures on Facebook and all the social media. So let's put that on the side. And then inside here, we get this full hardcover core rule book. Like, it's massive. I hear, I, I don't know yet because I haven't fully opened it up, but I hear there's like the full story is kind of recapped in here. Um, tons of fluff. The three different ways to play, um, which are open play, match play, and, uh, and uh, narrative play. Um, so that's all in here, which is great. And the rules have expanded a little bit. Um, again, I haven't played Age of Sigmar yet, so I can't give you the full rundown. Um, this is more of an unboxing type thing, but uh, I mean, hence the reason for a nice, big, thick, full hardcover rule book, which is great. Um, and then, Woo, see there's just so much stuff it's just falling down everywhere. Alright, so then we got these three books here. So let's open this up and uh, and throw you, show you all of what's hiding in here. So here we go, be right back after it's open. Alright, so I went ahead and, and took the plastic off the core rule book as well, because there was just so much stuff in it, I had to skim through it. Um, it's, it's just jam packed full of amazing stuff, and so um, it has, uh, it catches you up on all the storyline, and and walks you through fluff for all the different factions um like and it's just it's just so much it walks you through all the different realms so basically what's happened is the old world as we knew it in warhammer fantasy battle is has exploded uh it's all over sigmar um that page that i opened up to with like the dragon <laughs> um was probably the picture of sigmar being rescued because he basically grabbed onto the uh the 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 Gromrel core of the of the old world and was like shooting around the galaxy and he got basically saved by this massive dragon um, in space essentially and now this dragon is like shown all the different realms and so uh, so it explains all the different realms which are I mean you can essentially essentially think about it as like different tiers of existence or whatever and so this is kind of uh, comprises the the, I don't know, the universe now as we know it um, in Age of Sigmar, and it just allows for so much more uh, kind of open creativity, new things to, to happen, new races potentially to come into existence as new realms are explored. Um, so there you go. So then all the factions, chaos, undead, um, uh, yeah, just all the different, all the different chaos factions. Obviously the Stormcast, the Oryx, um, the Beast Claw Raiders, um, all that. Uh, just and then it has the whatever that was this, like the 16 or 18 pages of core rules and stuff um, explains uh, how to play in each different realm so like when you when you're fighting in certain realms then different things happen so there's rules for that which is really cool and then uh, the three different ways to play as you just saw the page narrative play float by um, match play games and so on and then it has all the different uh, the missions that you can play there for match play um, so just a sweet 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 core rule book there's so much stuff in here um, I am excited to just read through this just for the fluff alone let alone the rules so there you go um, and get stoked on all of that um, but then you have this kind of like the uh, uh, this kind of narrative booklet for the battle uh, that's taking place just for this rule book the, the part of the storyline that this rule book represents um, and the soul wars 
that are actually going on um, between, yeah, with basically Nagash trying to like uh, take all the souls and getting super upset at Sigmar and everybody else for stealing souls from him. Um, so the sacrosanct chambers of the Stormcast Eternals uh, are fighting against um, whatever's happening with the undead. I haven't read through all this, I'm just kind of... Uh, going off the cuff from from what I know and what I've briefly skimmed through here So this is a great little narrative booklet um, That explains everything in the box and kind of sets the tone for this specific game If you just wanted to play this like almost like a board game like just play it straight out of the box So great little booklet there um, And then this is I'm super stoked about this because this is the uh, What is it 16? 18 pages of core rules so the core rules used to be four pages and now now they're 18 so there you go it it uh, it would be nice to have this in like a mini book form maybe for putting it in your backpack carrying around for games but just the fact that you have the core rules of the game the amount of times in 40k that i just need that quick little eight page rule book to check the, the wording on something is is so so often so just having this quick little rules uh is perfect um Obviously a start here book, just kind of giving people uh, an idea of the hobby in general, right? Collect your models, build them, paint them, play games with them. Um, and kind of the basic DNA of Age of Sigmar and what it is, what it's like to kind of just, yeah, to just play uh, play in the Games Workshop uh, environment. So there you go, a little nice, easy, for total beginners, that would be perfect. Obviously you need some instructions to put these models together. I'm finding that, that more and more um, the models are very dynamic, very cool, but a lot less posable and a lot less options for the way that you can put them together. So certain pieces just have to go in certain places unless you're going to do some, some heavy, heavy converting. So there you go. There's your instructions as well. Um, now this, these, this is one of my favorite parts of this box and I wish uh, everything in 40k was designed the same way. So these are essentially the uh, the war scrolls for your units. Um, so I would I love this because it's hopefully it could eliminate the need for maybe like an army book or something in the future. But essentially you just get the rules for your models right here, right? So you know how far they move, how many wounds they have, they're saving all that all their special rules and all their keywords just on each little card. So you could take out the units that you're playing with and just throw them on the table. And then you never have to flip between pages in a, uh, in a book. So I just, I hope they start throwing these in every time you buy a model that just came, that I hope it just comes with this card, um, which would be really awesome. So very excited about that. Thank you Games Workshop for thinking of the gamers in that way and, uh, and including these. That is. There's just a nice, nice little treat, especially for beginners to have to not have them uh, to just go through that added cost of having to buy a uh, a battle tome as well um, is is very very nice. So there we go. So there's. Let's take this out. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Hey hey, there is. Um, oh cool. So I guess you got a sample chapter of the Soul Wars novel to kind of get you a taste for some Black Library goodness. Um, we got some dice. Sweet looking blue dice. I'd love to just collect a bunch of these from, from friends and just have just have a bunch of blue dice, that'd be really cool. Uh, looks like some of the bigger bases in here. Um, a neat, clear 12-inch uh, ruler. Flexi for, you know, moving around corners and stuff, which is great. Um, and going right on top of your base so that you can see exactly if, if it's if something's touching base to base or not. Um, cool. A little checklist for your some easy to build next steps to add on. Awesome, and then a couple decals for the Stormcast Eternals. Great, so hey guys, look, we've reached the end of the box. That's everything for Soul Wars. Very excited for what Games Workshop has put together here. The models are amazing. The 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 setup and introduction for new players is amazing, and uh, and even just for veteran players, like there's everything you need in here. So this is not just a starter set for beginners. This is this is uh, it's like a unlimited value package for all people, all ages who are interested in this. Um, 
yeah so there, there you go let's call it there um, guys if you liked this video and you want to see more content like this in the future um, consider subscribing down to the channel and hit the little bell in there so you can get notifications of when future content comes out uh, as well uh, you can, if you want to support the channel further, you can go down to the video description below and uh, to our Patreon link, where it's for as little as a dollar per video, you can support everything we do here at the channel, all of our battle reports and terrain tutorials and painting um, and all of that kind of stuff. So thank you very much, everybody. We will see you at our next encounter. <laughs>